Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the facial nerve. We will be discussing only about the extra cranial course of the facial nerve. So the facial nerve comes out of the cranial cavity to the stylomastoid foramen at the base of the skull between the mastoid and the styloid process. Now let's see the 3D anatomy. This is the facial facial nerve. This is the facial nerve. This is stylomastoid foramen. The facial nerve comes out of the canal cavity to the stylomastoid foramen. Now let's go to the second point. It curves forwards around the lateral aspect of the root of the styloid process and enters the posterior medial aspect of the peripheral gland. So this part, this part is the mastoid process. This pointed part is nothing but the styloid process. This is the facial nerve is the parotid gland and gives the five branches these are the uh, terminal branches of the facial nerve in the gland it divides into two trunks temporofacial trunk and the cervicofacial trunk the cervicofacial has two branches temporal branch and zygomatic branch the cervicofacial has three branches buccal marginal mandibular and the cervical branch before going to the terminal branches of the facial nerve we will go to the other branches of the facial nerve posterior auricular nerve this nerve arises just below the mastoid foramen and descends between the mastoid process and back of the EAM. EAM is nothing but the external acoustic meatus. It supplies the occipital belly of the occipital frontalis muscle, auriculas posterior and auriculas superior. These two muscles are the uh, muscles of the ear. Now let's see the diagram. So this is the diagram. This is the facial nerve. Uh, it arises just below the stylomastoid foramen. This part, the part which the facial nerve is coming out. This uh, space, this hole is not, is the stylomastoid foramen. So it ascends between the mastoid process. This is the mastoid process. So it ascends between the mastoid process and back of the external acoustic meatus. So it supplies the occipital belly. Of the occipital frontalis muscle, we have learned it in the scalp anatomy. So that's the first nerve, branch to the posterior belly of the diagnostic. It arises near the origin of the same or the previous nerve, and after a very short course, supplies the muscle and gives branch to the stylohyoid muscle. This is the facial nerve. This was the posterior auricular nerve coming from the stylomastoid foramen, and this one, this one is the nerve to the posterior belly of the diagnostic. So this is the posterior belly of diagnostic. This is the muscle. So this is the nerve. It um, after a short course, it also arises from the facial nerve, the pre same previous nerve, and it supplies to the posterior belly of the diagnostic muscle, and also gives to a branch to the nerve to stylohyoid muscle. Now we'll discuss about the terminal branches. The first one is the temporal branch. It runs upward and crosses the zygomatic arch. Now we'll study the 3D anatomy. So this one is the temporal branch of the facial nerve. So you can see this part. This part is nothing but the zygomatic arch. So it is running upwards and crosses the zygomatic arch. So this is about the temporal branch of the facial nerve. If we remove the parotid gland, we can see the two branches. This this branch. This branch is nothing but the temporofacial branch of facial nerve. This is the cervicofacial branch of the facial nerve. Now let's go to second branch. The second branch is the zygomatic branch. It's below and parallel to the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic branch of the facial nerve. It is running parallel to the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic nerve. So it is running parallel to the zygomatic arch. So now we'll go to the third branch. The third branch is the buccal branch. The buccal branch. So it has two branches: the upper buccal and the lower buccal branch. The upper buccal runs above the parotid gland duct, and the lower buccal branch runs below the parotid duct. Now, if we bring back the parotid gland, this is the parotid duct. This is the buccal branch. Now, is the upper buccal branch of the facial nerve. This now is the lower buccal branch of the facial nerve. Now, we'll go to the another branch, which is the marginal mandibular branch. 
so it runs forward below the angle of mandible deep to the platysma platysma is nothing but it is a muscle of facial expression it crosses the body of the mandible to supply the muscles which are the lower lip and the chin so this nerve this nerve is the marginal mandibular nerve so it's running along the angle of mandible and uh, supplies the lower lip and the chin coming to the last branch which is the cervical branch of the facial nerve it runs downwards and forwards and supplies the platysma muscle platysma is nothing but muscle of facial expression so this nerve is no, is the cervical branch of the facial nerve it runs forwards downwards and supplies the platysma muscle platysma is nothing but the muscle of the facial expression uh, this is the cervical branch of the facial nerve cervical branch of the facial nerve it supplies it runs downwards forwards and supplies the platysma muscle this is the platysma muscle next video we'll be discussing about the facial nerve paralysis that's all for today meet you in the next video